Hello everyone, this is Mrs. Lindsay. Today we're going to do problem number three on the great questions related rates worksheet. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look here. A balloon rises at a rate of 8 feet per second from a point on the ground 60 feet from an observer. Find the rate of change of the angle of elevation when the balloon is 25 feet above the ground. Alright, so again, Read, a balloon rises at a rate of 8 feet per second from a point on the ground 60 feet from an observer. So if you the ground, there's a point. The balloon, which I would call P, is above that point. And then we have some observer over here that's 60 feet away from that point. So this is 60. We have the height of the balloon. Hopefully we'll see here that we're going to have our right triangle. So again, a balloon rises at a rate of 8 feet per second. So there's some information you need to know. 8 feet per second. And that's the balloon. So that's going to be H, V, T. Make sure you're, again, you're labeling all these so you know which rates you're referring to here. Okay. Um, the point from a point, right, so here's my point, um, 60 feet from an observer, find the rate of change of the angle of elevation, angle of elevation, viewpoint of the observer, so this should be your angle of elevation right there, when the balloon is 25 feet above the ground, again, that's just some point in time later, so again, when the balloon, so that's your H, that's your later information, H is 25. So if we're referring to theta here, and we're talking about the rate of change of that angle, we're going to be using our trig function, SOHCAHTOA, tan of theta. That equals opposite over okay. okay. So let's take the derivative. The derivative of tan is secant squared. d theta dt. Again, I'll be taking derivative with respect to time. And again, let's think about what this is. This is actually 1 over 60 h. How do I take the derivative of 1 over 60 h? It's simply 1 over 60 dh dt. Okay. Well, what do we know? Well, we know dh dt. We know h is 25. Well, how is that going to help us? h is 25. I don't really have h over here. I have d theta dt, which again is what we're solving for because we're looking for a rate of change here of the angle. What's secant squared? Well, again, SOHCAHTOA, if you remember um, from the past there, that's the reciprocal of cosine. So we, instead of doing adjacent over hypotenuse, we need to have hypotenuse over adjacent. So we need to figure out Using Pythagorean theorem here, I'll just call this x. 25 squared plus 60 squared equals x squared. Alright, so if you plug that in your calculator, the moment to do that, you should get x to be 65. Now we can figure out secant again. So instead of adjacent over hypotenuse, it's hypotenuse over adjacent. So 65 over and now we're going to use a of operations to solve, and I'm sorry, I should square that though first, because that's secant squared. Okay, so go ahead, multiply, divide by 65 over 60 squared. Using your calculator there. And you should get your rate of change to theta over dt equals 0.114. Radians, again, whenever we're working with um, derivatives, we're always working with radians. 